State witness Zandile Kumalo is being tasked with confirming details she made to police almost 10 years ago. The defense team is picking through the statements she made between 2014 and 2018. Last week, Kumalo denied that Senzo Meiwa was shot and killed when he tried to break up a scuffle between herself and her then boyfriend, Longwe Twala. Now, our reporter, Mango Bamkunu, is tracking the story for us, and he joins us now live from the High Court in Pretoria. Mango um, you know, a little earlier on, I saw that in court emotions ran high at some point uh, because of uh, you know Zandile uh, being asked about her previous statements compared to what she's telling the court recently. Well, certainly, Masiko. In fact, we saw uh, what was, uh, you know, an argument, uh, if I can put it that way, between Sandile Kumalo and the lawyer for accused for Zitulele Kumalo. Uh, this is when the cross-examination continued. Of course, uh, she was being asked about her statements that she had made between 2014 and 2018. And some of the questions that were posed were around the inconsistencies in those statements and their evidence in court, uh, to which uh, there were assertions that put by the advocate uh, that uh, Zandile Kumalo had in fact been not uh, truthful as far as some of the events and how they unfolded on the night that Senzo Meiwa was killed and I think at that particular point uh, there were also questions that were raised as far as Longwe Twala is concerned and the fact that uh, she was protecting Longwe Twala in all of this. In fact this arose from a question that was raised from one of the SMSs that uh, the defense had used and pointed out to in court where a longer Twala, just moments after Senzo Meiwa had been shot, he had sent an SMS uh, to a number only uh, referred to as Twala 2, where he had then indicated that uh, Senzo Meiwa had been shot in front of them. And I think the question was posed as to whether Longwe Twala was there or not, because according to the evidence uh, that uh, Zandile Kumalo had given last week uh, in her uh, evidence in chief, she had uh, indicated that, in fact, Longwe Twala was among the first people to had uh, ran out of the house and therefore there were questions asked as to whether or not she was protecting Longwe Twala but uh, of course we saw the judge also interdicting and uh, asking uh, for both of them to keep the decorum of the court in check and to respect uh, the decorum of the court but there were also questions asked about uh, the suspects that um, she had identified through the identity parade that happened back in 2014 and uh, there were also assertions uh, that in fact Zadi Kumalo had not been telling truth as far as that is concerned. But take a listen to how that interaction went on. So we are not telling the truth when you told this court that the person that you pointed in that area in the dreadlocks. Ends the court, I mean, I'm voting. When he goes up for the chair, a Mundo and Ponga, and I will have a dreadlocks. You know, 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 but uh, what you must recall or remember that okay that it's been the eight years uh, some of the details or the uh, minor details according to me all right, uh, and uh, Mangoba, just very quickly, in terms of Advocate Zitulele uh, Ngumalo, you said uh, for accused number four, at some point he went for the jaguar in terms of what he says the state is clearly believing happened that night. Certainly, Masiko, and this uh, was around the question on some of the suspects that had been identified by those that were in the house, uh, uh, Zadi Kumalo's mother, Gladness Kumalo, as well as uh, the friend of Senzo Meiwa, Dumelo Mazala. They had all pointed uh, to suspects during that identity uh, parade that had taken place back in 2014. And the assertion from the lawyer, uh, Zitulele Kumalo, was that, uh, you know, out of all the suspects that had been pointed out, none of them are in the court. And and the reason he had put it to Zandile Kumalo is because he says that this is because there was no robbery that had taken place on that night and that there were no intruders that came into the house. In fact, he says that uh, the person that had shot Senzo Meiwa was inside the house. It was one of the people that was inside that particular home. Zandile Kumalo, of course, responding, Masiko, saying that there's no truth to that. She insists that uh, there were intruders that came into the house and that what happened 
uh, when Senzo Mewa was shot is because of uh, the robbery that had gone uh, in that particular moment. And uh, so basically sticking to her guns as far as that is concerned. But of course, cross-examination still continues. But what also emerged in court, which is quite interesting, Masejo, yeah. is regarding Kelly Kumalo and whether or not she will be appearing in this particular matter. You recall that she was one of the seven people that was inside the house when this all happened. And um, what uh, was revealed in court uh, through the state is that uh, they do not intend calling Kelly Kumalo to the stand. In fact, the defense had indicated that they are going to make an application as far as that is concerned uh, to call Kelly Kumalo to come and testify in court. Yeah. But uh, of obviously that is... Uh, will happen at a late stage uh, as far as proceedings are concerned. But cross-examination expected, of course, to continue. And we're expecting mm. the uh, lawyers representing accused number four to wrap up with their cross-examination, after which uh, advocate Zandile Mshololo, who represents accused five, is likely to continue today. Mm, all right, Manuel Bamkunu live for us there. In the High Court in Pretoria, and you might have noticed we didn't carry the trial for you live all morning as we usually do. That's because there were some technical issues coming in terms of the audio that we were expecting to give to you. But we understand that uh, technicians have gone to Pretoria to sort it out. And when they return at lunchtime or after lunchtime at 2 o'clock, we promise to take you live to the High Court in Pretoria for your favorite trial.